I've made some changes to the program, added a couple of features, a couple of um, changes to make it a bit easier. One of the new additions was we've now got an altitude before we only had the barometric pressure. You can see there if we change the altitude, it'll automatically update the barometric pressure. I've spread out the um, the results and I've I've added a actual and theoretical math value and a percentage difference for testing maths. So if we just show you here, we put in the info we got there. And we can see here quite a long way out. The expected math value should have been around 133 and it only achieved 92. So if we if we had a good math and it reached what it should, we'd see we'd get up into our good values and we'd reach almost 100% load. Now I've also added a fudge bar here. Uh, engines never develop 100% volumetric efficiency. A good figure is about 82%. So that defaults to 82, but if you know what the performance of the engine is, its volumetric efficiency, you can change that to what you think. Um, I've removed the calculation button. It automatically updates values now as you change them. So if I modified the altitude, it would automatically update the, the values. Now I've also of course you can't do this exact but also tweet a little bit to allow for forced induction um, crunch the numbers a couple of times against a few vehicles and it gives gives reasonable results so if we've got a a boosted engine we can we can check it here and add the values we've also got a option now where we can graph. To, to use the graph we still need to enter the engine size, air temperature in here first. The idea is you can enter numerous entries and then we can hit go and that'll bring up a, a chart showing you expected to actual values. All right, here's one that I did earlier. I've opened up a, a known good capture here and I've just that currently got the map sensor and the engine speed. And I've gone along and taken the values at different locations, different points, and I've entered that data into the table here. And then if we open up the, the graph, we can see here it's plotted out how we have our actual, which are the values that we've entered in the blue, and we've got our calculated, which are the values that are expected to achieve in the red. And we've got a, a margin of error there and it stayed within that margin. Started to get very close towards the end. Um, occasionally you might make a change and you don't think it updated here. There's a little refresh button you can just hit and that'll make sure it recalculates everything.